Now, it's been more than a century since these treasures were looted by British soldiers from Ghana. Many of them hold huge cultural and spiritual significance. Now, in a landmark agreement, the Victoria and Albert and British Museums are returning them on loan to the Ashanti King. Our culture editor, Katie Razzle, has this exclusive report. There is anger. People look at it in colonial terms. Looting of items, precious items belonging to people, are things that they don't easily forget. Gold from the royal court of the Ashanti Kingdom, which was once one of Africa's most powerful states. These objects and many more were looted by British troops in the Ashanti capital, Kumasi, in 1874, during the Third Anglo-Ashanti War. Now they're going back to Ghana for the first time in 150 years to Kumasi's Mencha Palace Museum in a landmark loan deal with the Victoria and Albert Museum, which bought most of them at auction at the time. They're put on display and they're displayed both as a work of incredible West African goldsmithery, but also as a sort of, you know, sign of British imperial and colonial power. 17 VNA items are returning, including a peace pipe used by Ashanti kings, the Asantehini, and heavy cast gold badges worn by courtiers tasked with cleansing the king's soul. The agreement is not with the Ghanaian government, but with Otumpfo Ose Tutu II, the current Asantehini, who once worked for Brent Council, monarch for a people whose history is steeped in gold and wealth. The deal's chief negotiator is Ivor Ajimandia. There's so much interest in these items. These were objects that were created by the royal artisans for all sorts of ceremonial reasons. At least these objects will be home after 150 years. The British Museum is also loaning 15 gold items, including a sword of state looted by British troops during the Anglo-Ashanti War of 1895-6. British law bans some national institutions, including the British Museum and the VNA, from permanently returning objects. In giving a piece back, you're also giving back a missing piece of history. Nana Ofriata Ayim is a special advisor to Ghana's culture minister. She welcomes the loan deals with the Ashanti king. The Ghanaian government could not have agreed to the terms. The metaphor is, I, you know, someone comes into your home and steals something from your house keeps it in their house and then, you know, X amount of years later comes and says, I'm going to lend you your thing back. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Those objects with origins in war, in looting, uh, in military campaigns, we have a responsibility to the country's origins to think about how we can share those more fairly today. And it doesn't seem to me that all of our museums will fall down if we build up these kind of partnerships and exchanges. Have you felt ashamed that these items are here? I don't feel ashamed they're here. I feel they're part of a history of British Ghanaian interaction, some of which is around war, some of which is around slavery, some of which is an incredible creative Ghanaian diaspora in the UK today. The VNA insists this is not restitution by the back door. For Ghana, it's both a way forward and a way to bring the treasures back. Katie is with me. Could this pay?